I'm Abigail Martin from MTSU Hockey here with Peyton Turnage, who did the play-by-play -play with Penalty Box Radio. Peyton, what a game that was. A lot of shifts were taken, momentum shifts, that is. What did you see that really stood out for you tonight? It was just a really chaotic back-and-forth game between two teams that were very evenly matched. Uh, Butler hockey was kind of a school I'd never heard of leading into this. I wasn't quite sure. I knew about their basketball program, but had no clue how the hockey team was. So uh, they came in, and MTSU, I thought, did a good job matching up with them. Uh, there was a lot of back and forth. The shots on goal were really close. The score was really close. Some back and forth. And then they got lucky and popped one in in the final minute. Yeah. Going, you mentioned the scoring. Scoring opened up with a goal from Zach Butler from MTSU. Score ended up with a final score of three to two. That game-winning shot was scored with only just a minute in regulation. Yes. How big is that goal, and especially going into tomorrow? Well, I mean, you could hear the building just drop silent the second because MTSU games always rockets, always crazy. The fans just bring the noise. Rowdy because, Raiders. Yes, the second that shot went in, it just quiet. And so that's going to be, you know, that's going to be a huge momentum swing into tomorrow. It's going to be up to MTSU to stay mentally tough and just come back with a brand new attitude tomorrow. Speaking of changes in this game, Jackson Taylor goes down and he doesn't return for the third period. Brendan Mitchell at the end of regulation is being checked out by the trainer. It looked like from his back. These are key players in this game and Zach Butler, Zach Butler is playing his last game tomorrow in the MTSU uniform. MTSU is looking to bounce back and get him that win, tie the series one to one. However, Butler's looking to sweep this team. Yeah, I, speaking of injuries, I mean, it's, it's surprising we didn't see more guys go down like that. But you mentioned, yeah, uh, Mitchell, top defensive leader. Uh, Taylor, the top center. It's really going to be a shame if he can't play his last game. I'm sure he's going to try his hardest to get in the lineup. But, um, yeah, I mean, that, that's really tough when you don't have your leaders. And MTSU was playing, what, maybe eight guys out there consistently. They really didn't use many of their uh, – lower tier players like guys like Neiman and Ruggiero they just came out on the ice late in the game and I was like oh I haven't seen them all night long so um, they're really going to need um, their leaders to have the legs back and play again because it looks like they're going to kind of evolve the same strategy again tomorrow. Mm -hmm. And that mind is both on both sides we're playing an excellent game things were really iffy Jalen Mitchell had to start for MTSU and Ned not sure if we're going to see Ryan Bobro switch out and be in that tomorrow but what are you going to look forward to see the changes from this MTSU team tomorrow to try and get that victory? Well, like I said, the guys just really have to reset, rest up, uh, be ready to go. Uh, I think you can kind of, from from the few MTSU games I've seen this year, you can kind of switch out Bob Rowe and Mitchell and both guys kind of bring in the same performance. You can even bring in uh, Friedenberger. He plays pretty well in that. But uh, the guys can't let that last-minute goal, uh, you know, leave them distraught. they just got to come back refocus, re-energize, and be ready to go tomorrow. All right, well, there you have it. MTSU drops this one with a final score of 3-2 against Butler. But tomorrow night at 9-15, they're back at it again, and we'll see you then.